this video is going to be one that you want to save. And that's because in this video, we're going to talk about 10 hazards to your Chihuahua in the fall. Yes, your Chihuahua safety should be top priority all year long, but fall has some unique safety hazards that you really need to be aware of. So we're going to discuss 10 dangers to your Chihuahua this fall. Keep in mind that everything that is mentioned in this video, I'll put a link to in the description below. So don't forget to check those out. If you stay to the end, I have a bonus tip for you. And Miss Lily here, she has something she wants to share with you. So don't go away. Hi, and welcome to Chi Chi's and Me Chihuahua Reality. If you're new here, welcome. And if not, then welcome back. My name is Linda. This is my little Liliana, the latest rescue that we have adopted. I have over 25 years experience raising and training Chihuahuas. But not only that, I am so passionate about Chihuahuas that I have done years of research and study on the Chihuahua breed. And what I've learned, I want to share with you so you and your Chihuahua can live the best life ever together. Do you love fall? I do. It's my favorite time of the year. I know that some of you are from Australia, which in that case, it's spring. In that case, you might want to save this video for next March. So let's get right into it with tip number one. Tip number one is beware of antifreeze. When the weather starts cooling down, that's when you and your neighbors start to winterize your cars by adding antifreeze to the engine. Ingesting antifreeze is deadly to your chihuahua, all dogs and cats really. Antifreeze has a sweet taste which may attract your chihuahua, so be sure and check your car for leaks. Make sure your antifreeze is stored where there is absolutely no chance of your chihuahua getting to it. Tip number two, keep your chihuahua warm. When the temperatures start dropping, it's important to keep your chihuahua warm, even in the house, because even though it may be quite comfortable to you, don't forget, cold air falls and your chihuahua is closer to the ground, so it may be perfectly comfortable to you and still be cold for your chihuahua. It may be the time to get some lightweight, easy on, easy off coats or sweaters. Tip number three, watch for poisonous mushrooms. Even if you don't have any mushrooms in your yard, mushrooms may begin to pop up on your regular walking route. Most mushrooms are safe. However, it's very difficult to tell the difference between one that is and one that isn't poisonous. So it's best to just avoid them altogether. Always supervise your Chihuahua whenever he is off leash. If you suspect that he may have eaten a mushroom, take a picture of it and take him to the vet or call your the ASPCA. I will put a link to the website in the description below and also the phone number. It's a good idea to keep the phone number handy at all times in case of any kind of an emergency. I keep mine on our refrigerator. Tip number four, watch for ticks. Ticks can carry Lyme disease, which can be very serious, and it attacks different parts of your Chihuahua's body. The end of summer does not mean the end of ticks. Ticks are able to survive during the winter, especially if they find a warm host like your Chihuahua, or a warm place to hide like in your house, in your furniture, in your dog's bed. So far into the cooler weather, ticks can still be a threat. So if you are ever outdoors with your Chihuahua, especially in a wooded area, be sure to check him afterwards for ticks, him or her. I personally use natural flea and tick repellents because I don't like putting unnecessary toxins and pesticides in my Chihuahua's body or on my Chihuahua's body because even if you put it in the back of the neck, it's absorbed through the skin. The natural flea and tick repellent products of today actually work pretty well. 
tip number five. When you're out on a walk, watch for wildlife. Fall is when the wildlife is out and about preparing for the winter. Depending on where you live, this could be skunks, bears, coyotes, and poisonous snakes. If ever you should encounter wildlife, just keep your distance. And it's really a good idea to keep your dog, your chihuahua, on a leash whenever you're on walks, especially in wooded areas. Tip number six, light his way. As the days get shorter, of course, it starts getting dark earlier. And more than likely, you're going to be walking your chihuahua in the dark during the fall and winter months. So now is the time to begin thinking about reflective leashes, collars, and jackets. And you should wear reflective clothing to maximize your visibility in the dark. And I want to caution everyone to never ever attach a leash to your dog's or your chihuahua's collar. Always use a harness or a halter, whatever you call it, and attach your leash to that, never to the collar. So it's a good idea to get a reflective harness also. Tip number seven, cooler weather means stiffer and more painful joints. Your chihuahua may begin experiencing more discomfort and pain when the weather is cooler. Dogs don't show pain as much as like people do, so you may not even notice if your dog is feeling the pain of arthritis or joint issues. But you can watch for signs like limping or reluctance to use the stairs. If perhaps your chihuahua whimpers when you pick them up, then you probably should take them to the vet. But in the fall and winter months, it's a good idea to supplement your dog's diet with things like glucosamine and other joint support supplements. And these really may help tremendously. Tip number eight, watch for signs of fall allergies. Allergies are very common in chihuahuas and seasonal allergy allergies are difficult to treat. If you notice constant scratching, biting of the feet, licking, these are signs of allergies. And it can be very distressing for your chihuahua, but not only that, it's distressing to you. It's very difficult to watch your chihuahua suffer through um, allergies. Common causes of fall allergies are plants such as sagebrush, pigweed, goldenrod, lamb's quarters, and other plants that release pollen. Common signs of fall allergies are nasal and eye discharge, sneezing, coughing, scratching, licking, or chewing paws and elsewhere, fur loss or tear stains for a light colored coat. Tip number nine, a change in the weather may mean a change in your chihuahua's diet. During the colder weather, many chihuahuas, many dogs need more protein and more calories because they begin to burn more calories to keep their bodies warm. So make sure your chihuahua is getting all the nutrients that he needs and watch his weight. Even though he may need more calories in the wintertime, it's not an excuse to let your chihuahua get overweight. I have lots of videos here on chihuahua nutrition and I'm going to be uploading lots more videos on chihuahua, chihuahua nutrition and diets, what to feed your dog, all of those things. So as a reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time to do it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload those videos. Number 10, don't forget about his paws. In a few months, there's going to be ice and snow and salt on the sidewalks and the streets. Your chihuahua's paws are really much more sensitive than you may think. And just as our hands need more moisturizing in the winter, your chihuahua's paws need more moisturizing also during the winter and fall months. You really should keep them protected all year long and keep them in, do in good condition. Doggy booties are popular and they're just so darn cute.
It's a good idea to use natural products on your Chihuahua's paws, such as Musher Secret Paw Protection Balm. It's what I use and it's one of the best in my opinion. And you'll find the link to it in the description below. I told you there'd be a bonus tip. Are you ready? Be sure and check your yard this time of the year for seeds and stems that have fallen for tr from trees because some of them are very toxic to your chihuahua. Make sure all of those things are cleaned up. My chihuahuas are constantly looking for food, not because they're hungry, but because that is their instinct. Dogs are programmed to hunt for food. So during Halloween, tailgate parties, all the upcoming holidays, please be very vigilant and watch where you set your food and drinks so that your chihuahua doesn't accidentally eat or drink something that, is, that he or she shouldn't. They don't know what food is good for them and what's not. That is up to you. Last but not least, I told you that Lily had something that she wanted to share with you. And that is if all of you, if any of you are following along on Lily's weight loss journey, when I, when we adopted Lily, she weighed 7.2 pounds. That's way too much for her little frame. She has now lost, I'm happy to announce, one whole pound. That may not sound like a lot, but for a tiny chihuahua, that's a lot of weight. She still has another pound to go, but it's a process and we are getting there. So Lily was excited to let you know that she has lost a pound. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. Remember that liking, sharing, subscribing, all these things help me to continue to bring you these videos and more in the future. And they help other people to find this channel. Till next time, my four chihuahuas and I wish you many, many happy chihuahua tail wags and lots and lots of chihuahua sloppy kisses. Bye.